Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and uh, what we're going to cover today is how to rig up a uh, mullet or, or any kind of live fish bait uh, and, and the reasons why you want to rig it in certain different places uh, on the fish depending on how you're fishing and where you're fishing. Uh, you know, we get a lot of questions on this one and I just want to show you how I do it. There's three basic ways that I will hook a live bait, a live fish bait I should say. And I'm going to show you right now. So let's go ahead and look at it. All right, the first way right here is the nose hook. And with a, with a hookup like this, uh, that the fish is going to tend to pull the, its head down a little bit. So if it's a real strong fish, it can stay up in the water column. But if it's a smaller fish, it's going to tend to come down. Its head's going to be pointed down. So it's going to fish uh, other parts of the water column besides just the top part of the water column. So this is a real good one if the water's deep, uh, you don't have too much hook here pull, pulling it down. Um, you know, if you don't want to worry about it going down in the, uh, in the, um, in the grass. So, so let's say for instance that I was fishing in six feet of water. You know, I probably would hook it like this. You know, I want it to be on top, but I also want it to come down a little bit in the water column uh, too. You know, just in case there's trout or snook or something in the in the seagrass. Uh, you know, I might use this if the water's a little deeper. If the water is really shallow, like say I'm fishing in, you know, two, three, four feet of water. Well, this is going to keep the uh, fish out of the seagrass because the hook up top is going to tend to weight the tail like this so it's going to tend to stay in the upper part of the water column right on top so it's, it's probably not going to go dig itself down into the uh, seagrass in shallow water so that's why i like to do it right here in the back you know i should have drawn more fins but this is basically back by the tail just to keep the fish's nose up so it's going to stay in the top part of the water column and this third way is is basically the same theory you know, it's going to pull the fish's tail down to keep its nose up so it's going to stay in the top part of the water column. And, you know, you can use this with, with any type of fish that you're fishing with. It could be a greeny, you know, greenies, pilchard, sardines, white bait in general. Uh, now, if you did, basically if you were fishing with a, uh, some fish, like say it was a pinfish, you know for a fact it's going to go straight down. It doesn't matter where you hook it. You hook it any way you want to, a pinfish is going to go swim straight down to the bottom. That's just how they do it. So you also have to know what species of, of bait you're using and what their tendencies are too. But as far as, you know, fishing with a finger mullet or something like that, or, uh, you know, like I said, pilchards and your greenies, any of that type of fish, uh, these three are going to work just fine. You know, some fish, a grunt, uh, you know, pig fish, you know, the, um, the, the pinfish, you know, there's a lot of fish. If you hook them, they're just going straight down. So hook them any way you want. It doesn't matter. They're swimming straight down anyways. You should probably have a bobber on them if you're in real shallow water, you know, to keep them in the strike zone, but out of the, uh, out of the seagrass. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, you know, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And until next time, bye-bye.